uh, good morning again. We just met for our agenda setting meeting, so we've had our, our little bit of our chit chat and our good morning. So we'll get right started, but I do need a roll call again. Commissioner Cameron. Uh, good morning. I uh, good morning. It's still morning. Yes, uh, I am. <laughs> I am here. Okay, Commissioner O'Brien. I am here. Thank you, uh, Commissioner Zuniga. Here. Good morning. And Commissioner Stebbins. Good morning, everybody. I'm here. Okay, and again, as I've noted, each at each of our each of our meetings, we are conducting this remotely because of the relief Governor Baker offered in an executive order to accommodate needs during the pandemic. This is relief from certain provisions of the open meeting law, and we've been meeting virtually since March uh, 14th. So um, thank you, everyone. We'll call to order um, today. The, it is Wednesday, November 25th. It is now 1049, and it is public meeting number 328. And we'll get started um, with our only item on today's um, agenda. Item number two, Loretta, do you want to take it? Hi, hi, good morning again. Hi. This is a this is a matter that I'm bringing to your attention at the request of Encore of Boston Harbor. Uh, specifically, Encore has requested that its gaming beverage license be amended so that three of the restaurants located on the casino's premises be allowed to sell alcoholic beverages with takeout food orders. Allowing this request would be consistent with COVID-related emergency legislation passed by the legislature on April 3rd and July 20th of this year, allowing restaurants to sell alcoholic beverages with food takeout orders subject to certain conditions. And those conditions are that the uh, buyer be over 20, uh, 21 or over, uh, that the product be in a sealed container, and sealed container is a defined term in the legislation. And I should point out that our gaming agents team uh, is right now in the process of working uh, with Encore Food and Beverage to uh, uh, examine uh, the containers. Uh, another condition that's part of the legislation is that the sale be part of a food transaction. There are specified limits to the amount of alcohol that can be sold that's set out uh, in the legislation. And the sales are limited to the hours of operation of the restaurant, which right now under the governor's order and the commission's COVID requirements that track the governor's order is until 9.30 p.m. Uh, a, a legal reading of the emergency legislation may indicate uh, that um, no specific action by the commission is required, but consistent with the commission's broad regulatory oversight, and particularly its responsibility regarding COVID protocols, I am bringing Encore's request to you for a vote. And uh, again, in summary, the request is that the alcohol beverage license, which the commission issued to Encore, be amended to allow Rare Steakhouse, Red 8, and Mystique, all located upon the premises of the gaming establishment to allow for the sale of alcoholic beverages with takeout food orders, subject to the specific conditions set forth in section 13 of chapter 53 of the Acts of 2020 and Senate Bill 2812, which amended section 53 of the Acts of 2020. So that, those are my prepared uh, comments. See, we see uh, uh, Ms. Crum is here. If there are specific questions for, for me or her or uh, Mr. Band, who's um, well-versed in this request, we'll, we'll try to answer them. And in our packet, we did have the, um, the PowerPoint that um, Encore Boston Harbor provided. And you, do you have the, the actual application for the request for the amendment? Uh, and then the PowerPoint, uh, which uh, gives a description of the three restaurant premises and locations and so forth. Um, Commissioner Brian? I, um, it does seem to be um, obviously consistent with the earlier executive actions from the governor's office. The question I have in terms of us voting to approve it, which I do think is appropriate for us to look at under these circumstances, is have there been any issues in terms of COVID concerns with crowding or 
queuing up or anything like that with takeout or and anticipating that this would in any way cause a problem, um, just adding this to the services that they can provide. Particularly as they exit at the 930 right. time, yeah. Mm -hmm. Whether there's any discussions, issues, anything like that that you want to bring to our attention. And, and I will, uh, Jackie, invite you to comment, but you know, I know in our discussions uh, earlier, uh, uh, sh Jackie did indicate that the practice of patrons has been with the earlier closing time to call in in advance of closing for takeout orders. Uh, so that process has been happening. Uh, and as Bruce and I have been reporting, you know, regularly, uh, there have not been any uh, significant issues. Uh, you know, I don't know whether uh, this additional amenity uh, will have that much of an uh, impact uh, on the takeout orders that are already being uh, placed as people are, uh, you know, leaving at this earlier hour, leaving the, you know, the gaming activity. Um, but, but Jackie or, or Bruce, I invite sure. you uh, to address it. Jackie? So frankly, we wish we actually did have more people <laughs> picking up to go orders. We're hoping that this will, will help facilitate that. But we do have marked areas where people stand that are six feet apart, leading in and out of every uh, restaurant. So that's something we would continue to monitor. We have not had any issue with that uh, going in the past. Okay. Well, we hope that it does, that if this votes uh, positive, um, that it does drive some business. I know that I've heard that um, the restaurants that have this available to them, um, you know, Back Bay, for instance, you know, are, are pleased to be able to have this extra bonus during the Thanksgiving uh, time, so. Um, <clears throat> I had a question, but it's really just logistics. If we vote for this, does this require um, a change in the certificate? Because I would want to get that done immediately to so that uh, Encore could enjoy this benefit for the Thanksgiving break. Um, it would, Kathy, and I have been in touch with um, uh, Lisa uh, Bruckner in the licensing division, and uh, we're prepared to uh, make the uh, adjustment right away. Yeah, OK. Questions for Jackie and Loretta, Todd, um, Bruce, our experts. I, I have most, one, one mostly out of curiosity. Um, uh, I think, well, first of all, I, I, I'm in agreement with the notion that this is a very uh, appropriate uh, request and one that is consistent with what everybody is doing around the state as per the legislature and the government's orders. Um, but out of curiosity, um, what, what do you anticipate, Jackie, perhaps, to be, um, you, know, the, um, you know, the orders that can complement a, a, a dinner, uh, certain wines that are sealed, or perhaps uh, mixed drinks that then have to be evaluated how to be put in a sealed container? Just, just help, you know, help us understand no, the, what you anticipate. Sure, so the primary uh, impetus for the request was we'd like to include sort of wine dinners. And so we come up with a specific, uh, you know, maybe a three course meal and rare, and then pair it with uh, maybe two different wines, because I think that's, uh, that's consistent with the uh, legislation. Um, so it's mostly mm -hmm. to, to do wine dinners. Right. Or add sake to, a, um, to an order as appropriate in Mystique. Right. And those would be, uh, again, out of curiosity, um, you know, mostly op uh, bottles that would then be taken completely sealed and uncorked uh, at the, uh, you know, at, at people's homes. Absolutely. Okay. It's good to know. That is good to know, Enrique. Commissioner Stebbins, do you have questions? Uh, I had some questions earlier uh, with Director Lilios and just kind of talked through. Uh, what the, the containers themselves look like and I'm, I'm all set and appreciate the work of our team on site looking at those before uh, uh, before getting the green light. Commissioner Cameron? 
I do not have questions. I too wondered who who um, ordered takeout from the casino, but it sounds like guests that are leaving the casino will order uh, before they leave and, and take the uh, food and beverage with them. So uh, I have no issues with this uh, this uh, request. Yeah, this is an opportunity too for patrons to um, who may not be going into the gaming establishment right now or or uh, newcomers to Encore to maybe do a different Thanksgiving and and go to Rare and have a different experience. So I'm delighted with the timing uh, that we are able to accommodate the timing, and then I and I hope that uh, it's an opportunity to uh, perhaps just enjoy something different for those who. Um, might be looking for that tomorrow. Commissioner O'Brien, any further questions? No, no, other than um, I guess two comments to make. One would be it, my understanding of the governor's orders are that, um, well, that you can't sell full bottles of wine, this would allow those establishments to do mixed drinks as well, Jackie, I know you said that's not what you envisioned, but if somebody did want to put one in, in an order, am I correct that that's allowable under this? It is allowable. My understanding is it is allowable. Um, on our two restaurants that we have proposed, we don't have any intention of doing mixed drinks. We're going to stick with uh, bottles of wine or uh, bottles of beer. Uh, that's also permissible. Um, but, you know, we would like to reserve that for our uh, Mystique, if because they do have specialty cocktails, provided of course that they have the uh, appropriate containers. Right, right. No, I, I sorry. No, to say that I know I, I'm not aware of instances where there have been issues with establishments that have followed this and had them properly sealed. So uh, I, I don't see an issue with the request myself. And you mean in terms of this has been uh, available to. Um, to restaurants yes. since July, and we don't have any evidence, Loretta, correct, that there's been any widespread abuse of this uh, takeout option. Uh, that's right. In, in fact, the, um, the uh, beer and wine uh, portion has been available uh, earlier since April. Uh, the cocktails uh, came uh, online with the later emergency measure uh, in July, and it's uh, by all the information I have, you know, the rollout has been smooth. It's been a, a successful piece uh, that restaurants have been able to, to rely on. And if we took action today, um, it would cover the uh, um, the option of the mixed drinks for the future, correct? Or, or would we want to consider that, or is it more narrow today? I've, the way it's been presented today is all the all the pieces uh, today uh, have been presented. You know, of course, you're not um, bound by uh, by that. You could, you know, choose your menu, uh, so to speak. But it's been presented with all three options of the beer, wine, and the mixed drinks today. Any further questions? Thank you. Uh, then uh, I understand that that um, you're recommending that we do take formal action, commissioners. If you um, would like to do so, we could entertain a, a motion and have just further discussion as as warranted. Certainly, Madam Chair, I'll make a motion that the commission amend. Uh, Encore Boston Harbor's gaming beverage license consistent with section 13 of chapter 53 of the Acts of 2020 and Senate Bill 2812, amending section 53 of the Acts of 2020. I second that. Any further questions for our team here? Okay, I'll take a vote. Commissioner Cameron? Aye. Commissioner O'Brien? Aye. Commissioner Zuniga? Aye. Commissioner Stebbins? Aye. And I vote yes. My only follow-up would be, uh, Karen, um, and if we could have this um, be part of our, our update at the December 3rd meeting. That's a good idea. Thank you.
And, uh, and we do uh, wish you, um, Jackie, and your team at Encore the very best over the next few days. And, and um, we're happy that we were able to accommodate this request today. No, thank you so much. We really appreciate you uh, appreciate you accommodating this request prior to Thanksgiving uh, to allow us to enhance our offerings. Mm -hmm. um, and th and happy Thanksgiving to everyone in the gaming commission. I can see lots of people here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How many do we have from our team? And we have actually uh, 59 participants right now, so that could be members of the um, external world as well. But we do have a lot of our team members right here, so. Thank you for the good wishes and um, and pass them on uh, behalf of my colleagues to everyone over at Encore. Okay. Well, thank you. Commissioners, do you have any further updates that you'd like to provide or anything that you'd like to say at this moment? We did have our good wishes at the last meeting. All set? Well, the same good wishes to everybody who was not able to join the last meeting. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody and uh, have a safe um, holiday season. Yes. Thank you, Commissioner Stebbins. Uh, safe and happy and healthy and uh, great Thanksgiving for everybody out there. Yeah. Commissioner O'Brien. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Enjoy the weekend. Commissioner Cameron. Ditto. <laughs> Ditto. And, um, and uh, let's uh, treasure, as I said in the last meeting, the, the meaning of Thanksgiving this, this year because uh, it seems pretty relevant. Okay, everyone be safe. Thank you so much. Karen, thank you so much. Pardon? We do need a motion to adjourn. So moved. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, Commissioner uh, Brian? Aye. Uh, Commissioner, uh, Commissioner Cameron? Aye. Commissioner Zuniga? Aye. And Commissioner Stebbins? Aye. I vote yes. And thank you, everyone. Thank you to the team. We appreciate your attendance. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Jackie. Bye bye.